Happy DNA Day. Wow, Tim, this is quite a smorgasbord of DNA models that we have here. Could you take us on a tour? We have recently come up with what we are now calling the dynamic DNA model. Here it is standing vertically, as most people expect to see a DNA model. But the, the advantage of this model is that it's both anatomically accurate in that here is a GC base pair and just below it is an AT base pair here. Okay, right here, there's a phosphate ester bond is also generated with magnets. But the new feature of this dynamic model is that it's not only a Watson-Crick double helical B-form DNA, you can also untwist it just like the inexpensive foam DNA starter kit. With this model, you can also see that the two strands of DNA are running in opposite directions. Here's a 5' phosphate going to a 3' hydroxyl group. The bottom strand, the phosphate to hydroxyl group, is going in this direction. You can also, if, you would, if you'd like to convert this to a model of RNA, you can attach a, uh, a hydroxyl group to the two prime position of deoxyribose to convert it to ribose. The other change you would have to make has been incorporated into this model. This right here is a T, and students will tell you right away that RNA has a U instead of a T, and all you have to do to convert a T to a U is to remove that methyl group, which is just a, a single carbon that is stuck right onto a uracil. So this is now uracil, whereas before, with the carbon there, it's thymine. I love how this model is not rigid, that yeah. it shows the flexibility of the model. Many times students have yep. that as a misconception. Yep. And, you know, we like being able to untwist it because then, if you put together, you have a big double-stranded DNA like this, you can actually separate the two strands. And you can do replication with anatomically correct pieces, just like you've done here with schematic models in the Flow of Genetic Information Kit. You can now have a replication fork here, in which you're replicating this strand going in this direction in a continuous manner, and then you're replicating this strand going in the other direction.